Greetings and salutations, all you beautiful individuals. Welcome back to another epi of League Unlocked. My name is Eric Flying San Holo Han Solo on today's epi as we do another nice little bit of a deep dive. This is a video I've been meaning to do for a couple of weeks. It was probably even a more relevant a couple of weeks ago when Smolder was on the scene, completely breaking the game. But we are looking at the history of the evolution of the pentakill because the last couple of years especially and it is definitely peaking here in 2024 it's gotten insane it's gotten out of control how frequently we're seeing pentakills in games even you'll see the casters during these games they're not even excited about pentakills it's just a regular call because they're happening so often it's not even just 80 carries it's Junglers popping off. We got a Rel Pentakill. A Jungle Rel Full Tank Pentakill in 2024. So what is going on? When did this start getting out of control? And is there an end? Will we ever get Penta drops back from Riot? Probably not because they happen so damn often. So this... I feel like this topic was even getting out of control once Zeri was introduced, but obviously Smolder coming in completely busted this one. Uh, <laughs> the character hasn't even been around for four months, barely three months, honestly, in competitive play, and he already has 32 professional pentakills, which is tied with Cassidin for the 19th most ever by a champion. Three months! Three months he's been out, and he's already in the top 20 and tied with Kasten, which is a historically busted late game champion that jumps around and gets resets and has been around since like 2010. I feel like I don't even remember. Kasten might be one of the OG champions in the game, so he's like almost 15 years old, and he already has as many pentakills as him. So smolder is what has taken this to another level obviously having a built-in execute makes him absolutely disgusting and much like zeri i will say champions being completely broken damage numbers being out of control in modern day league of legends are the number one and number two culprits but teams are better players are better they play around when you have a smolder when you have a zeri team comps are completely built around and teams are serving it up with a silver spoon uh, to get these pentakills for these guys uh but i mean smolder is just a different animal completely obviously got nerf hammered pretty hard by riot and we haven't seen it as much which is even more insane that he got 32 pentakills uh so damn quickly but when did things start getting so out of control? I'm going back and I'm going to say the beginning of the chaos was around 2018, uh, which is, and by the way, here's here's the number we got to drop. 32 pentas already for Smolder. There's been 128 pentakills worldwide in 2024. We're not even at MSI yet. Places haven't even finished their spring split, so we're not even halfway done the year or the calendar season, 128 pentakills already. 20 of those are from the major regions. So we go to 2018, as I was saying, where I think this all started. 2018 had 139 pentakills worldwide. Only 11 more than we currently have this year. And Again, this is after Worlds, after the summer split, after MSI. All these main events happened and we were left with 139 worldwide. So if you were looking at the graph of pentakills per year, it has astronomically gotten out of control. Last year, by the end of the year, we're on pace to break this one. 365 pentakills in 2023. Already approaching halfway there uh, this year. We'll see if, if Smolder comes back into the meta. I guarantee you that's going to be breaking. But again, back to 2018. Why was this the start of it all? Kaisa was released. Kaisa coming on to the rift. She still sits as the queen of pentakills. She has 182, which is the most by any champion by far she's got nearly 60 more pentakills to her name than the second place jinx 
on this list. And if you were watching Pro League back in 2018, Kaisa was an absolute menace, either perma banned or perma picked throughout pretty much every region on the Rift. Having this new, fancy, shiny 80 carry that's played like an assassin as well going into your back line that was something brand new and all these star mechanically gifted players like ruler like uzi in his prime absolutely thrived on this pick and for many years kaisa was the queen of these pentakills that's how she racked up 182 You've got all these plays from Gala, who looked incredible on that pick. Multiple star 80 carries. It felt like Kaisa was the pocket pick that they were able to pilot. So, to me, 2018 is when Pentakills started uh, becoming another level. Because as you go further and further back into history, there were less and less. Pentakills were hardly a thing. You go to 2015, which is still, you know, really high quality and developed pro scene there were only a hundred worldwide that entire year and that was even with some uh, broken juggernauts at worlds you remember both soas and balls got pentakills on darius but this is also the year in 2015 when jinx when double lift got a pentakill on jinx in the playoffs and that's when pentas felt they were so uncommon they were so rare that they felt extra hype they were in these, especially in a marquee clutch moment. Oh my God, absolutely incredible gameplay. And now they happen so often. Eh, you know, okay. You're cleaning up in the base and just happen to get an ace or someone else sets something up and the AD carry just knocks down all the bowling pins. Uh, but we have definitely evolved. And from Kaisa, the evolution, I mean, you could talk about a Felios maybe in 2020, but there were less pentakill scenarios where he was popping off and more just winning team fights and not dying that he had absolutely no business surviving in his 200 years full chock full of memes so the next champion to completely break the pentakill game is of course zeri when she was released and we're what i think late early 2022 she's released so we're two years ish of zeri on the rift and she already has the third most pentakills in the history of the competitive scene which is absolutely insane for how little she's been around. Way more so than Kaisa, and I'm going to say even more so than Aphelios. Obviously, Zeri completely broke the meta, and this is when, before Smolder, people were already rolling their eyes. Oh, look, another Zeri pentakill. Ooh, another two screens away zap from Zeri that does 50% of somebody's health, but uh, at least... I'm not, I'm not gonna say all. Most of the Zeri Pentakills were exciting to watch because, again, you had these high quality superstar 80 carries, much like Kaisa. It was a treat to watch them perform on these picks, but when Zeri became absolutely perma picked and was essentially unkillable, especially when you slapped an enchanter alongside her or an entire comp being drafted around her, it uh, became essentially, and you see this evolved into Smolder now, teams fully draft around this one pick, and if they survive for five seconds of a team fight, regardless of how the rest of it goes, even if it's down to a 1v4 type scenario, if the 80 carry, a Zeri, or a Smolder is left untouched, they're gonna win the fight, and they're probably gonna get a pentakill because everybody else is dead on their team. So they're the ones, the only ones remaining to be getting a lot of these kills. So the evolution is Kaisa coming in, completely changing uh, how AD carries played and just racking up Pentas. Then it gets to Zeri. And now we're sitting here with Smolder, who assuming uh, is eventually going to be back in the meta when we roll around to Worlds so that Riot can, you know, design some more skins and make some money off their latest little dragon we might be talking about smolder at 75 or top 10 pentakills in his first year uh absolute lunacy the biggest jarring comparison for these pentakills okay last year i mentioned 365 worldwide pentakills in 2023 10 years before that 2013 i know it's a bit of a ridiculous comparison because the game is completely different a decade later 31 31 in the entire year more than 330 more pentakills on average uh 10 years later which again there's a lot of reasonings behind that 
Uh, first and foremost is just how the game has changed, how the damage numbers are, and how completely broken characters are now that if they go unpunished or untouched in these fights, they will completely take over. Is there a fix to this? Do we want a fix to this? Maybe pentakills just become a whole lot more commonplace. Sure, they're a little bit less hype, but when there's a massive outplay to get one, it's, it's still exciting and people still get fired up most of the time if it's not a brain dead, sad, stupid, shouldn't be allowed smolder pentakill because the character is completely busted. But as I said, even junglers are getting in on it. So maybe instead of complaining about all these pentas, we just sit and enjoy. It's just like traditional sports. There's more higher scoring. There's more goals in hockey. The NBA teams hardly ever get 100 points, less than 100 points in a game. So this is just the evolution of sports and esports as we get better and better at playing them. It's more high kills. It's more high scoring. So just all I can say is I've sit... I've sat back and said, now I just embrace the Penta. I don't complain unless it's Smolder getting it. Then you best believe that we should all be complaining to Papa Rito. But that is it today for League Unlock. My name is Eric. Thank you to all you beautiful people for watching as always. And we will catch you on that flippity flip.